Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Wednesday, June 4th. Uh, back from vacation. Nice little break there from the market. Doesn't look like I missed a whole lot, although uh, quite a few of our plays did pop nicely over the last couple of days, like ACPW and IVAN and CNXT. So nice day while or nice gains while away on vacation asco though not really that much of a move uh we did have aria spike for us so that was one positive but uh, this is probably the first time i remember asco not having you know monster moves anyway back to the market here we have the dow 15 minute chart we are again stuck in another bullish falling wedge we had consolidation here last week but uh the small little pop we had has been sold into market just does not look good here financials again uh the talk of the town they're trying to do a run on lehman now you know just today we had uh nice gains in the market and then the one of the three blind mice uh, moody's came out and said they were going to downgrade the debt of mbia you know the story is just getting so old the only reason the ratings of a lot of the subprime debt uh, is where it is is because of the morons from Standard and & Poor's and Fitch and Moody's giving incorrect ratings for poor debt. And like every financial disaster that's happened, the last one being Enron, these morons come out after the fact and change their ratings. Uh, ridiculous. Anyway, we've had the dollar in a nice rally over the last couple of days. The Fed has finally pushed into a strong dollar stance and as a result uh, we've had oil starting to ease granted gasoline prices continue to romp higher you know once the prices broke four it was off to the races dow daily charts here we have the daily chart we're also in a bullish falling wedge but uh, no signs of retreating it or bouncing back at least per this chart we would need uh, a move over 12500 for me to even consider the possibility of a move back to the upper trend line right now. As you can see, over the last couple of days, selling volume has been increasing daily. Not a good sign for us near term. Stochastics are oversold. Scroll down. Are oversold right now. But as you can see, unbounced volumes just dropped off a cliff as they bail from financials. The only positive with the strong dollar talk from Bernanke and, uh, you know, the Treasury Secretary, but it's pretty much Bernanke doing it, is that the money from commodities is going into technology. So if there's a positive to be taken from it, it's that. Market did get slapped around pretty hard in the last hour today. Bernanke was talking about uh, the 1970s saying, Today's conditions are not like 1970, but even bringing up 1970s sent traders to the sell button. So for now, the ideal stance is fast scalps and few take-home long plays. At least that is what we're aiming for right now. SMH, as you can see, we're still holding the 200-day moving average on the SMH, beneficiary of the sell-off in commodities. So as long as the SMH can hold 3190, it's looking good. A break below or close below 32. Let's say close below 32, we will be looking at picking up SMH positions on the retrace that will happen to the uptrend line in the 30.5 to 31 area. A couple of stock plays we're watching right now, CMOS in this trading range for the last uh, month or so strong watch on this one over the next couple of days let's see what happens here tomorrow probably we're going to see a retrace but if it does dip below 110 would consider it a scalp ad opportunity a close over 120 and it's off to the races on this one with our 140 target rsi is about to break 50 for the first time since the sell-off back in april we're about to get a positive ADX cross we've got a strong uptrend in stochastics and on bounce volume you can see they're finally moving back into this one in a big way so CMOS is on strong watch near term IDEV uh, biotech tanker today uh, company came out and said the FDA is going to ask for another 
trial for their new drug application, so the stock got hammered. This is not the only drug these guys have, but the market treated it as such, so this one is definitely on watch for scalping near term. We've got the 15-minute chart here. It's got support at 119, uh, so I'd be looking to pick up a scalp in the 120 or 121, 22 to 125, 26 area. Uh, make it small. If it breaks down below 119, we'd be watching to add more. Otherwise, you know, for now we're going to see how this one trades. Very, very high volume. So could be an interesting trading opportunity for us over the next couple of weeks, like MNKD was when it tanked. Took a few days for that one to go, but then we made some nice money when it did eventually rebound. That's really all I'm watching for now. We've uh, CNXT, nice pop on that one. Uh, they upped guidance, but they had the reverse split. So at a minimum, you should have considered booking at least half to three quarter gains on that one. ACPW ran up as high as a buck seventy six yesterday. So nice gain on that one, um, and. You know, that's pretty much it for now. Let's see what the markets do tomorrow. Uh, charts are not giving us any real or clear indication here. So let's uh, play it by ear on that. And I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.